Are we live right now? Yep. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Travis Allard of DL, also of the artist uh, support of Hybrid Group. Uh, today, we're going to be seeing and talking to Mr. Darren Holmes. Um, we've got his latest release playing behind us on the TV. Um, he's got a new release coming out March 18th. So we're going to be discussing that. Also, some uh, artist support, independent artist support topics. Um, so we're inviting him in right now. While we wait, playing some of his tunes here for you. This is our third show. Um, the first show we brought you, Mr. Peter Sos, and he covered some of his topics through his blog and through his uh, business. It's, uh, what is it, Perfect Sounds Unleashed? Mm -hmm. PerfectSoundsUnleashed.com. PerfectSoundsUnleashed.com. And he's got 34, 35, 36 industry knowledge. Um, very, very, very good guy. Yesterday, we had Serviac on for a live show and uh, some live music, so that was interesting. We, we had him in from Madagascar, so um, very, very talented young man. And today, we're trying to find Mr. Darren Holmes in, in our... And Mr. Darren Holmes is from the UK. It's about 5, 10 p.m. there. Does it not allow you to search for friends here? Again, this is our third show, so we're we're experiencing the uh, learning curve right now. Let's see, I don't see him yet. I know he said he was putting dinner in. This is uh, Darren Holmes playing live here. I know he's got a few things going on artistically. I'm going to let him discuss those with you. I know he's part of a cover band, and you know he's got his own his own music. So oops. Okay, I've got him on Messenger, and uh, all right, we're trying to invite you. Tom, he has to go live. You have to go live. Then we invite you in, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear this. Uh, Darren Holmes on, on all of your streaming services. Uh, it's really, really good music. Uh, there's something about Mr. Darren Holmes that kind of reminds me of a sting. Um, you know, he's he's got a lot of great ballad ballad type lyrics and beautiful melodies and harmonies and uh, very talented man here. One thing I would like to mention about Mr. Darren Holmes, I I met Darren Holmes. Um, I would hi hi how are you doing? Hey.
Oh, you know what? We're not actually. That's him on YouTube. Okay. I thought. <laughs> I thought we just went live. This is funny if you're watching, I guess, huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Trying to get you live, Mr. Darren. Okay, he says, okay. Okay. There we are. Okay. Sent them by. Hi. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, you just missed a funny part. <laughs> We, we 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 had you playing on the background and uh, you started talking on this YouTube video right. and uh, we actually thought we were going live and we we're actually conversating with people. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, okay, that was great. Well, all right, how you room. doing? Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Room, this, is, this is like uh, this is like my spare room, but it's also my studio. You know, I've got all the junk behind us as you can see. You know, CDs and all sorts of stuff up there, and I've got my uh, my, my whole system in front of us here and that, like you know. So, uh, yep. yeah, are you all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you're from the UK. I'm from the UK. I'm from the northeast of the UK. Yeah. Um, I've never lived anywhere else. I've always lived in the northeast. Um, I've just written a song actually about uh, about the northeast, you know. Um, okay. This, guy, this, this area was used to be renowned for like uh, pits and that sort of thing, like coal mines. And uh, there's no coal mines left now. But basically every single village in this area um, started off from being like a, a mining village. Um, so I've okay. just I've just I've just done a song and just released a song uh, for, about that, you know. And um, there's a guy who's actually been writing um, a blog and doing uh, something on the internet to do with like uh, one of the pit stops used to be in the area. And um, there's lots of like disasters happening in the area. And there's one he's doing now for like a, a pit near me called uh, Horden. So I've given the song and he's going to actually put the song um, with um, some like uh, certificates that sort of thing that go with the pit. Um, so we'll see what goes with that, you know. It's been a bit different. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah Sounds so good. have you got anything do you anything out soon? I'm sorry, sir. Have you got anything to out soon? Well, uh, <clears throat> Mandy has a song coming that out that she collaborated with uh, Dave Sims on on her birthday, March second. Nice. Um we, we had Serviac live yesterday, and he played a song. He 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 reached out for collaboration to have English words. He's from Madagascar, so he wanted right. English words for a song, and uh, they collaborated on on a song. And uh, he played it live for the first time. Expected out around the first of March, so around her birthday. And I know DL Highlights has another uh, release coming on David's birthday on March fourteenth. Right. It's our uh, second to last song, but our last song that we were together when it was recorded um, okay. before he passed away. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I saw March 18th, you've got a song out, uh, Ripples. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Is, uh, is, Ripples, is, is, Ripples has been about um, over two years in the making. And basically, uh, I started writing it in 2020, even did like a, a live stream of, of the song in 2020, in the summer of 2020. So it was even okay. out before then, technically speaking, you know. We just never got the studio, never got to actually record it, and that like you know, um, just like with lockdown and and COVID and all sort of shite, and mm -hmm. uh, so what we decided to do, we just hung up, hung on and hung on, um, but it's one of the, the very last songs, um, before my my album's complete, you know, uh, I think it's, there's about ten or eleven songs there altogether. They include the Christmas song, mm -hmm. and they, they include the yeah. the one I'm doing about the mines, but it's all about like uh, growing up uh, and like uh, remembering when times are simple. And all you had to worry about was like, uh, you know, skimming stones, that sort of thing. Absolutely. Originally, it was called. Originally, it was called pimples. You know, <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> all you had to worry about was growing up and getting pimples. You know what I mean? When the yeah. the lad who produces for us says, "Oh, I think we need to change that. Let's see if we can come up with something different." You know, and so we came up with ripples and like, on about skimming stones on the water and ripples, that sort of thing, like ripples of time. And that the ripple effect, yeah. Life. 
Yeah, so it all stems from there, you know. Nearly all the songs I've written have, have come from like um, different inspiration. Like, uh, I mean, the, the one of the first songs I did it was about um, somebody from years ago. Uh, other songs I've done uh, with children. Um, it was the birthdays a couple of years ago, so I did a, 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 a song for them called uh, Dream Big. Um, so oh, also, I, did, yeah. I did a song, song called Dream Catcher with me, with me wife. Um, there's a one called uh, Into the Light, and it's a bit of a dark yeah. song, but it's like quite upbeat. Um, and that's come from basically I knew a girl who basically like uh, committed suicide, you know. And um, it's all about like you know if you you know if you're feeling down, like get pulled back into light, that sort of thing. I mean, I'm a spiritualist as well, which is a bit of a funny subject, you know. And uh, so some people can say that actually getting pulled that way into the into heaven, as it were, right. or like getting pulled back this way into, into like the world, you know. But uh, it's all good fun, that like, and you know, I love writing music and what have you. And uh, I've got a, a, another song that I've been just been working on today, actually. Because what I've, what I've decided to do, the way I'm going to start working it is, uh, I, I normally just work with the producer, and I say, right, here's, here's a song I've got. And we just build the whole mm-hmm. song, and it, and it normally takes a couple of days, you know, you know, to like get it sorted out. But what I've done with the next, this next one, I've also got a band you say that I work with, that you know. So what I've done with the, with the next one that's coming out, um, by, in, that's going to be produced. It's all about like food, food and heat. And it's it's okay. about like um, about like basically, I don't know if you have them in the, in America, but uh, we have like uh, food banks over here because there's so many mm-hmm. people like on the on the on the poverty line and they can't afford to like live. Uh, you wouldn't think yeah. that, you know, being being the sort of like economy that we are, but there's like a lot of people out there who can't afford to eat, and it, it's a case, it's a, sorry, it's a case of either heating your house up, or f- food for your family, and that like you know, so for some people, so it's what it's a song about that, you know, being time with a few ideas with that, mm. uh, and but I'm going to work a different way with that one. It's uh, all about like um, working with the, the band, so I'm going to give the band the lyrics and the song, and then, then build on it, and that like you know, and, and we'll take it from there. It's all good stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've, 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 I've connected to your lyrics. I've, I've, you know, enjoyed all of your positive, uh, positive thoughts behind your lyrics, and and um, you know, I, I we we met in November ish of 2020. Um, yeah. It's before I had any, any, any material that I was connected to, uh, actually mm-hmm. distributed, and uh. We lost David in June, and and uh, you helped me tremendously find find a way to help support um, an artist. And um, yeah. I I don't know how to thank you for that because uh, where we started uh, in 2020 has has brought us here. And yeah, I sure. think yeah. uh, your influence and your knowledge and everything is is incredible. So. Um, I know there's a lot of starving, starving people all over the world, and and yeah. and artists and musicians are some of them. So yeah, you're right um, there too, right? Yeah, I mean, I enjoy helping people. You know, I mean, uh, I've been quite fortunate because um, a, a few years ago, ten years ago, we were in a position where we used to be in the, in the pub business, uh, like mm-hmm. uh, a couple of pubs that, like you know, and, you know, they did really well, but we, we had a recession like in 2010, nine or ten. And basically, had to like uh, go through bankruptcy and come out of the pubs, and like family and friends help us out, you know. So I think to myself, I'd rather like help other people as well, you know, and especially artists. I mean, I've only been doing my own music for like, the past three or four years, really. So on the back of that, um, it gives us something to focus on and like gives me something to like uh, help people with. I mean, I've never charged somebody for my my time and that, like you know, and the, and the help that I can give them. But um, as long as like you know, it's a two way two way sort of thing, you know. I mean, right. if you're like. Uh, on a, on a playlist and you're there to you help to stream it or you've got your music on there and you stream it. Everybody that's on that playlist can, you know, also stream it and it helps everybody out. You know, and I've always seen things like that, you know. I mean, like, say, even a couple of years ago when, when COVID first hit um, and there was like, lots of artists in the North, they said, oh, what should we do? You know, we're going to be skint. We're not, not going to have any money. And I thought, well, you know, there must be some way about actually getting some money out with, like, streaming, you know what I mean, and, and doing it that way. And you know, you know, people complain about the streaming uh, being like such low paid and what have you. And it is, a, it is a shame that it is. But I mean, uh, if you work here, but that is, and you help to build your own like uh, your own streams up, and you help to like promote yourself, I'll always help like people push themselves, or you know, help to get them on things like Disco Kid, uh, which is what I think you use right. as well, isn't it? You know, and uh, it, you know, it's a, it's a great platform, that, you know, and it's not going to skint you. You know, it's not going to make you like. Uh, 
penniless, basically. You know what I mean? You're still going to get the money out of it, you know, as, as much as you can get into it. Uh, but the, the more songs you can get out there, the more um, people can come, come across your music and that, like, you know what I mean? And I think I, I see things like that way, you know? I mean, even like last year. Yeah, it's all about exposure. Yeah, but I mean, even like last, not Christmas gone, the pre- Christmas before, I even started doing like uh, EDM music and that, like, you know? And they're uh, putting that out, but I was putting it under my own name. And then I thought, I better start separating these, you know? And I start, so I started putting them under like Dash Homes. So if you look for Dash Homes anywhere, you'll come across like, uh, come across music under Dash Homes with a bit more like EDM sort of stuff and a bit more dancey sort of stuff. Yeah. But it's very simple music to produce, you know, uh, just using like loops, that sort of thing. And uh, but my, my mm-hmm. studio music is really where my passion is, you know, because it's like uh, it's something that um, I take more part in singing it, you know. I mean, and getting the getting the words and everything right, and getting the, getting the job right, you know. But uh, yeah, it was good to have you on board, and that like you know, and I, I'm I'm pleased you actually uh, managed to get like David's music out there, you know. What I mean, because it's uh, it's a lot of music's worth, you know, needs to be heard. You know, you have like um, even like there'd be even music from maybe five years ago from from people who were like yeah indie artists. And that, that music will never been heard, and it's a shame because like there's so many places that you know that can music can be pushed to, like radio stations, for example. And then radio stations, they'll say that music has been new. They won't consider it like from maybe five years ago. They'll say it's like something that's brand new to them because they won't have heard it before, you know. Absolutely, we we had uh, Peter Sos from uh, Awash. We were actually talking about Perfect Sounds Unleashed dot com, but uh, you know one of the songs that my wife absolutely fell in love with is, is eight years old. And, uh, you know, it's, it's such a, a current sound. I mean, a, a lot of the music that, that, uh, this is artist support network, uh, Darren Holmes here, uh, Facebook, and this is how we met. And this is an amazing guy. Uh, if you're an independent musician, if you're an aspiring artist, if you want to, uh, find a way to get, your music out and, and and find a way to get heard you need cooperation with with guys like this um he's really an amazing guy he's done really amazing things for uh david lauderdale uh may he rest in peace my collaborator and deal highlights so um you know i can't thank you enough for that um artist support no network no problem how, how, how'd yeah. you how'd you how'd you generate such a great team uh because your team is phenomenal uh pre-saves you know there's just a lot of support that that that's generated inside your network yeah i mean th- th- i'm quite lucky because um, i built quite a concentration of artists in the northeast because i'm from the northeast doing it anyway and uh, some of the music in the northeast absolutely fantastic you know um you've got like i don't know if you've seen peter Connolly on there the artist network he doesn't get involved a great deal but he's actually responsible for the music for uh, you know your tomb raider he was actually responsible yeah, for the music for Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, and that, like you know, the, the video games. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's a absolutely. Guy. We've we've it's got him scheduled, it. but there is it's 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 like kind of a little bit further out. So yeah, we're yeah, excited yeah. to have him on for sure. Yeah, yeah Peter yeah. Connolly. Yeah, the problem is with Peter though, he's a bit of a, um, he doesn't like uh, the the profile so much. He doesn't like to be like you know out there too much and that, like you know, he likes to get his music out there, but like just stay. Uh, Behind doors, and you know, you know what I mean. It's just like, <laughs> just like push yourself too much out there, you know. But uh, again, there's like uh, people like Steve Larkin from uh, from Darlington, which is like another few miles away from me. Um, got some great music coming out. Um, you, you've got like um, Stevie Stoker, who doesn't actually take part in the in, in much on here, but um, he actually is got a rock band and that, like you know, and he's constantly pushing his rock band out there. Um, but even like, uh, I don't know if you heard of, heard of Sam Fender in the, uh, in America. That's called Sam Fender. Uh-uh. No, he's just a Northeast artist, and he's won one of the Brit Awards. And he's from, like, uh, 25 mile north of being that, like, you know. But he's got some fantastic music out there. Again, he's just, he just started out as an independent artist in the Northeast, you know, and built his way up. I mean, I, I didn't have anything to do with him, in that, you know, unfortunately. But, yeah. like, I love his music, <laughs> you know, so I'd always push him. But, I mean, they even got, like, um, a company called, uh, well, a band called Four Colour Ghosts, and their lead singer. Um, Alan Bainbridge is the one who actually does the production for me. Excuse me, and he uh, does you know he does like lots of stuff and all you know, but the music is fantastic. You know, he's a bit more sort of like rock, rock orientated. I I know I know who they are, and uh, yeah. I hope to have them on one day. I've asked yeah. you in the past because I've I've got a couple sounds. I'm a songwriter, and I've got a couple sounds that were perfect for them. So mm-hmm. perhaps yeah. perhaps one day because I'm a collaborative collaborative writer, and so is my wife. So yeah, I really really enjoy them. 
Yeah, it's Absolutely. good. Way to do it. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, like I say, there's like uh, there's lots of things always going on in the northeast. You know, lots of like uh, open mic nights, that sort of thing. Um, and the, the they're the sort of things to quite get to go to as well. Like you know, especially with new artists and people who want to get themselves out there, just go and see. You know, you'll you'll come across people who'll be able to play guitar, even if you can't play guitar. You know, and they, and they might help you out. They might play on a song for you or, or that sort of thing. You know. And it's, it was the same like the support network. Um, there's, there's been people on there who have just basically come on board because like uh, they were looking for a bit of direction, you know, and we've helped them point them in the, in the right direction as far as like um, using DistroKid goes, um, getting it to Spotify, knowing how some of the algorithms work with Spotify and some of the other streaming platforms and uh, just getting involved in that. Like, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it, it can be quite inspiring from like uh, from certain points of view. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's, that, there's a lot of people who've been in the uh, support network, and um, I've just, you know, kicked them out because they was they're just inactive, you know. And there's no point in them being there if they're not going to be active. I mean, and, and I hate people where who come to us who like who aren't active, and then all of a sudden they've got a song coming out, so they'll say, "Oh, will you, will you push this song for us?" And I say, "No, I'm sorry, I'm not," because you're like you need, you need to show like you're willing to help other people first before we actually get involved. Right. In helping. You know, we, you know, we all we all we all support uh, each other. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, I love that, you know what I mean? That's what it's all about at the end of the day. But like, do, we do get a few people who come on board and just think it's a, you know, a, a quick trick, you know what I mean? To try and get some streams, mm -hmm. that sort of thing as well, you know? And we don't work like that, you know what I mean? It's gotta be for like a long-term, like sort of commitment, you know? Especially for, yeah. like, uh, for some of the pre-saves and that sort of thing as well. But uh, it's- Well, there's a lot of people, a lot of people that are out there just thinking it's it's about the streams and it's not about the streams it's about the algorithmic marks that that are generated because of those streams and there's good and yeah. bad yeah and and there's yeah i i've went i've went against your advice from the beginning because um you told me spotify the system you got to work the system the best way and that's the way it was designed to work you mm -hmm. need to release singles um uh, I had my own reasons to release a collection and, a, and an album. I think it was uh -huh. a total of 35 songs, 36 songs. But uh, that was because we lost David and I wanted him to complete collections. So, yeah, yeah, um, that's fair. I, I, like you got, I, I told you I had like five years worth of worth of releases if I had to wait to release one every month. And, uh -huh. uh, you know, I, I'm seeing now that we've got some new material that's been released and, you know, new material coming up. Uh, applying for the editorial playlist, which mm -hmm. uh, you've you've given me a lot of this knowledge. So we're trying to find the best ways to 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 get to the best placements, to get to the best organic increase. And, yeah, yeah. You know, pe people that cheat the system, they're only thinking about the stream, and the stream isn't anything to to um to. I mean, the, the thing to is put this well, effort in for. Yeah, I mean, the thing is as well, you've got to think like um, you've got to think the way them them computers work, them bots work, and all that, like you know. Because what the idea behind like a lot of the algorithms were, um, if they say like a, you know say in the first week you get a couple of thousand streams of a particular song, that then the algorithms will pick your song up and start pushing out to more and more people, and like you know what I mean like in, in Discovery uh, Weekly or Radar and that sort of thing you know, um, I think it was a Discovery Friday or something there were Fridays and all that you know New Music Friday, and they're all like algorithmic playlists that will be pushed out there like individual people all over the world, you know. And, right. and again, you know, if, if they get taken up and then people start like listening more and more to that particular person's music, that person's going to grow. Fantastic, that, like, you know, it's, uh, it's it's getting to that point. And you've got to try and like think, even without using any marketing, you know, even without like advertising your songs anyway, and, like, you know, if, you've got to try and use the things that's basically like, lowest cost to operate and lowest cost to like run your own little like, uh, you, you know, your shows and that, like, you know, just to try and like mm -hmm. get your music out there. In the big wide world, you know what I mean. Keeping the but to keep the cost down as much as you can, because like I say, at the end of yeah. the day, the amount of money that you get from streaming is is quite minimal. You know what I mean, it's like it's hard yeah, it's, it's really. A, but uh, you know, yeah. I might pay for the sub subscription. You need you need to generate organic traffic. You need to get get yeah. find the fans. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's that's right. that's that's what uh you know you're 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 the team leader of hybrid, and uh you know we've we've tried to uh, design something that that helps us find fans on on multiple platforms so we're actually helping promote each other on amazon apple deezer Tidal, youtube mm -hmm. uh, obviously spotify is where where a lot of people are so you know yeah, we're, yeah. we're trying to you know actually get get these 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 amazing artists out to fans so um you know we're 
we're all interested on on where our best bands are going to be you know so mm-hmm. we're uh you know people stream in a in a large number of places so um you know you're uh you're, you're the reason we were able to to get this ball rolling and 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 start to do these things and and what we're doing on tiktok is just increasing exposure and, and trying to uh help each other the best way we can yeah right? this, is, this is a great tool in that as well you know i think uh, a lot of people are making the move like from um from using like instagram and facebook and using more things like tiktok and uh and a couple of other platforms not like you know but i mean the the art support net, support network is uh, was set up on facebook and basically it's just um it's the best way to run it because like it's such a big group and then if i put anything on there the thing is with facebook you have to stay active on a particular um on a particular page or a particular group because as soon as you right. give it a couple of weeks and you're not active people just drop off you know that you'll, you'll not see that group unless you go and search for it you know and i've had the same mm-hmm. sort of thing myself in the past that like, you know when i've like uh I thought to myself, oh, I, haven't, I haven't seen anything from that particular Facebook group for such mm-hmm. a long time. But when I've like looked look, look for it, I've like missed the, like maybe shed loads of like information that I could be getting from them, you know, or like shed loads of like the people I could have helped, you know. But uh, like I say, for us to like keep the uh, the support network going, people have got to stay active on there. Otherwise, again, we'll just get rid of them and just boot them off if they're not active, you know. But they've, got, they've actually got to search for it sometimes, not like and just uh, put the effort in, you know, what I mean, to, to find it. That's 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 a huge resource and it's been a benefit for me, the Artist Support Network on Facebook. Um, you know, Mr. Darren Holmes runs this and a great, great, great team. If you're if you're a new musician or if you're trying to get into um, promoting your own material, um, there's great help in a lot of areas. So um, Mr. Darren Holmes right here is is very, very fundamental in, in all of my growth and, and everything I've experienced for the last year and a half. And it's a pleasure to have you here for sure. Thanks a lot, it's appreciated. You know what I mean? I always appreciate everybody that's on that group, you know, because like I say, they all put the effort in, including yourself and that, like, you know, and it's, uh, it's what makes it worthwhile. You know what I mean? It's in it's, uh, it's more beneficial for everybody. I mean, uh, everybody's highly on, cooperative. Oh, yeah. Everyone's highly people cooperative. On there from like uh, Australia. Uh, there's lots of people on there from America, quite a few people from the Northeast of the UK. Um, and even like, uh, I would speak to them like a friend, you know, like I would for you guys as well. You know what I mean? Just at the end of the day, you're like friends and that, like, you know, Friends and family, yeah. that sort of thing, and I would treat Absolutely. everybody else the same, you know. But uh, you, you do come across people who uh, who aren't, you know, aren't the same way, or aren't, aren't, you know, as involved. But at the end of the day, you know, it's up to them what they want to do. You know what I mean? Well, it really comes down to the end of the day. You can't you can't be just self motivated in this um, in this arena as an independent artist because really, if you're coming in with nothing and and you've got nowhere to go. Um, if you're only in the taking end, that dries up really, really fast. Uh, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. there's 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 ways we we expose each other to we, our our fans. So, mm-hmm. you know, we try to build build uh, with each other, from each other, and for each other. So, um, yeah, sure, that's a sure two way street always. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. So, where's the kids at tonight? Anyway, are they all hiding? Well. I've I've heard Gavin a couple of times. He 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 might be hungry, but they're still resting right now. <laughs> I got, got two sets of twins, my, my beautiful <laughs> wife Mandy here. Sorry. Hi. Hello, Mandy. Hey, all right. She's 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 the she's the one running TikTok and getting everything going on here. So you know, uh, a lot of these artists and everyone who's who's viewing, you have my wife Mandy to thank for for getting this ball rolling. And, Definitely, and thank you, Keeping Mandy. me on top of it. I, I have to admit, this is the first time I've actually done a TikTok live all together. You know what I mean? So, thanks for putting in the right direction. You know what I mean? Keeping things right. Well, we're we're trying to figure out how the system works. So, you know, we hope to uh, be in a be- better position with uh, yeah, technology. Uh, yeah. But you know, we're we're really enjoying the uh, the opportunity to get get some of you guys on here. And I know we're 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 expecting Stephen Larkin. Um, mm-hmm. You know he's build, he's building the studio right now, so I think he, he wants is, to get yeah, that finished he, first. He just sent some pictures to the of it to be finished. Uh, uh, Paul DeMarco, Paul DeMarco is going to be coming up. Yeah, I, so that's going to be a treat. Is Paul the one from Japan? Paul's from the UK. There's, there's actually one I can't remember who it is. It's either Paul or maybe David Sweet or one of them live in Japan. That like you know what I mean as well, but like they are English artists at the end of the day. 
the like there's people all over the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, you know, you you never know where, you know. There's this your your artist support network does span the globe. So. Oh yeah. Um, Definitely. There's people <laughs> helping. You know, there's people helping all over the place. So, uh, we've got some interesting sounds coming from from some areas of the world up on uh, some future shows. So, you know, we definitely look forward to that. Yeah, it'd be good stuff. Yeah. Are you doing any anything live yourselves? Like, are you doing any performances live, or you, you don't do that? It, if I could play the guitar, I I just I <laughs> I write. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that, man. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I I I get somebody else. You get the kids trained up, man. You could have a whole band there. Once I have a musical collaborator, I, I just write to melody. Um, right. You know, I write to my ear and and mm -hmm. and I sing. So, you know, what what draws me is the connection of the word to the particular melody. You know, yeah. it, it's it, it coincides to me. And mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I I like you would like to write positively. Uh, David yeah. Lauderdale actually uh, defined that in me. Um, he changed some of my some of my dark lyrics into positive lyrics, and and mm -hmm. they're they're good to hold on. They're better to hold on to in a positive yeah, light. Um, you know, he he definitely influenced that in me. Um, that's part of why I was so drawn to to you and a lot of the artists that 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 are part of your <laughs> network are very very yeah, positive sure. and, and influence and positive. So mm -hmm. um, that's what drew, that's what drew me in. More than anything, the, the first draw yeah. was the, the positive, positive. Yeah, I mean, you've got to stay positive, you know. You, you've got to have like, a, you know, a, 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 I know it's more difficult to like sometimes, not like, you know, but I think you've got to stay, stay away from like thinking dark things, not like, you know, um, because I mean, you know, I've, I've seen people who, even, even now, we've got people who are friends on Facebook, and all the, all they just talk about is like being down and being down and down and down. And if, it, if you just talk about it all the time, you just have this mindset of like pulling yourself down and you're never ever going to pull yourself out of a dark place or a dark mm. wall. You've got to like try and stay upbeat and that like, you know. But let's face it, at the end of the day, you know, we said, oh, we're alive. You know what I mean? We're all like, uh, you know, we all, we all like have our dark days and that like, you know what I mean? But you've got to try and like stay as positive as you can for most of your life. You know what I mean? I've always seen no, that, you know. I'll tell you, I was, uh, I was in a pretty pretty tough spot for a little while and um you know losing david and and um you know everything that we had done we we recorded together 32 songs in a year and mm -hmm. he recorded 17 or 18 himself so there's nearly 50 songs he he's attached to in the last year of his life and that's cool. really that's when we we started rolling and 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 he didn't slow down um and actually he finished our last song the night before he passed away and uh you know i just having having that influence in my life it was more than music you know he was he was really uh, a, a spiritual guide in my life and, mm. and and a realignment you know part of part of what i was doing was realigning to passion and purpose and and he was mm -hmm. he was the motivator there and and he he guided in a in a proper direction and um you know that 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 feeling of loss and uh, and <laughs> suffering is has got its own set of physical um Oh, it's, it's got real physical. Um, it'll do physical harm to you. Um, it will. Yeah. You have to will. start. You, you've got to try and turn it around though, and think of like something like, what would you have been like if that person hadn't been there at the time when they were there? Do you know what I mean? And at least they got you through that part of your life and that, like you know. And you, you've got to think. You've got to think, thank them for like for that like bit of like, uh, you know, that help. You know what I mean? That help in your life when it came. You know, and uh, and it's another reason why I try to help as many people as I can. Like you know what I mean? Because I think if you can help somebody, you know what I mean, and, and pull them through their dark times, that like you know, it's a, it's a good way to do it. Not like you know, you just gotta try and stay as positive as you can. But even I have a dark times, you know. And we all let's face it, you know, we all have a job, and we all got to do a job to keep ourselves going. And you think, God, I could I could just like do something else. But I mean, um, even music for the past couple of years, you know, by being doing my own stuff. I've like become more confident with myself. I've become more confident in performing because I have a, I also have a band that's called Eight T's. It's number eight T W right. S, and they, we do all eighties music, you know. Yeah. And uh, we've been doing that for like the past. Oh God, I've been doing like all like that sort of thing for about the past four years or so, and I love doing it, you know. And even like the one of the lads who plays guitar for us, he, he says like, as he says, you know, we get no point now where I've seen you like just like 
performing, you know what I mean, getting better and better and better. And like, I always have a bit of crack with the crowd. I mean, I went to see a band a few years ago. Uh, I'm not telling you who the band was because um, it was quite a famous band. And they basically, they had like, you know, 70,000 people in the, in the stadium and that, like, you know. And uh, they just went in and said, they, sorry, we're late. And then they just started playing the music. Right, and it, like they had no crack, they had, you know, what I mean, they had no interaction with the crowd and all that. They were playing a full new album, and nobody knew what the music was, and nobody knew any of the songs. And by the time they finished, me and me, Mrs. Me and my wife just walked away. We left the place not before that they even finished, you know. And I think myself, you know, when you're having it, when you're when meeting new people, people for the first time, you need to like tell them about you a little bit and uh, sing the songs that want to sing, you know. And eight eighties has taught us how to do that, really, you know. Because a lot of the songs that we do, we do stuff from like Queen um, and lots of other massive 80s bands. I love doing them that, like, you know, but I also enjoy it's setting them by doing 80s stuff, it's set me up to actually do my own stuff more, you know, because now I can go to places who can actually perform uh, <clears> my own songs, you know, and have not to worry about them. But I explain the songs as well, like I did to you, you know, like told you what the songs are about, and like this one's for my wife and this one's for my kids and that sort of thing. And people like, I'll sit there and listen to you, you know, and then they'll listen to what you have to say and listen to your music and that, like, you know, and then they become fans, proper fans, and that, like, you know. But really, you know, if you you know, you should get yourself out there, you know, get yourself to some open mic nights, that sort of thing, and just you know, see if you find somebody to collaborate with. And if they'll just play acoustic guitar and sing a song with them, you know what I mean? And you'll go, wow, you know, you'll, you'll think yourself, yeah, with, without David, uh, you know, we're, we're connected on 32 songs. Um, you know, there's there's more lyric to come. You know, we have unfinished projects, but um, you know, with without David, uh, you know, they'd they'd be incomplete. You know, oh, yeah, the course, collaboration is, is is huge hugely important. So, yeah, sure. Mm. But I mean, like I say, find somebody local to you who, who's willing to come and like play some songs for you or with you. You know, and go and go and go to some open mic nights and just go and knock a couple of songs out. They might yeah. come to your house or something like that, like, you know, and like pull up with the kids and love you, not like you know what I mean, and uh, and drown the kids out with a bit, a bit of their music, but then go right. like, night nights and stuff, that sort of thing. You'd be surprised; you'll probably enjoy it. You'll, the, you'll worry about it. You'll think, right. "Oh, what am I going to do anyway? I'll, I'm shitting myself." You know what I mean? But uh, once you've right. done it, you'll think, "Oh, that was great. I'll enjoy that." You know, and sing the songs. Not like you know, that's what they're meant to be out there for as well. You know, he, he's wrote them, and he, like you wrote the lyrics, and he's wrote some music and everything. And just get out there, find a guitarist who's willing to work with you. And you know, go and knock some of them songs out and let them hear people hear them properly as it is meant to be heard. That you know, live. You know what I mean? I I I, under, I, I agree. I've got to get out and and, and meet people. The, the, you know, they've got large large shoes to fill. You know, mm, uh, yeah, that's yeah. why I, that's why I appreciate the Hardest Sport Network because I, I I've said you know I've never had heard all of David's sounds and you know I've heard dozens of sounds from him and he's recorded them so. Um, the Artist Support Network has actually opened me up to the number of sounds that that would complement um, David's ability and talent because there's there's mm -hmm. multi sounds, multi genres, and and actually we've we've got some new collaborations rolling because of mm -hmm. the Artist Support Network. So you yeah, know it's so kind of working working like this um, to collaborate on a song versus going out to find somebody. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a good way to do it. You know, there's a lot of value, a lot of value in, in collaborations and artist support network and everything that, that, that goes on. And, and yeah. going back to, uh, you know, that tough spot, you know, you have to find that positive, positive direction. And for me, mm. you know, that, that started with, with uh, the artist support network and having an outlet and a resource to help promote David Lauderdale. And, yeah, yeah, sure, and, of, course, and, of course. And to build a stage for the collaborations we shared with DL Highlights, but there's mm. there's a lot of other a lot of other work that'll be that'll be incorporated in the in the mm. future. So, um, you know, it's, it's got to start somewhere, and, and in yeah. my case, it started that positive direction started with you. So, no, yeah, great. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased I've been a benefit to you, even if I wasn't a benefit to anybody else. As long as you guys, you know, what I mean, I've, as long as I've made an impact on your life, not like you know, and help you out a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I do it for lots of people, not like, you know, but like I'm saying, your, your, next, your next step is, your next step, find a guitarist locally to you and get them to help you do them songs and you'll go and sing them songs, your songs, you get them out there and get them sung. Mandy, Mandy is learning the guitar right now and I, I need to, <laughs> I, I need to, uh, you know, I, I stay busy on, on a lot of things, so uh, I need to set the time aside to focus on it. Um, yeah, yeah. 
We all do on the regular, but like I say, that's what you need to do. You need to like set yourself a target saying, right, in like say six months' time, you're gonna do two songs, you're gonna go out there and you're gonna perform at like some open mic night or or something like that, you know what I mean? And just do right. them, you know, get them done. You know, the your songs, you know, your song they but people hear them, you know, you know. But uh it's the way to do it, man. All right. All right. I bet you I hope you listen to those, man. I'm telling you. You better be. <laughs> yeah, I got <laughs> Got to find a well. I'm pretty close to Paducah, and Paducah's. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen any live shows there. The local people call it Little Nashville. Um, right. You know, yeah, I know right. they have. I know they have uh, live venues, especially along the boardwalk in the summertime. Uh-huh. It's hard getting out, especially with in light of you know COVID the last couple of years yeah. and, and yeah, having yeah, you know our our youngest are 20 months old. I know you've got a set of twins. Well, yeah. you know our youngest youngest twins are. 20 months old so you know you know what it's like with yeah, with yeah. that age twins and you know just around the house let alone going going places with them yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> well, mine, is, um, that's mine, is, mine is 17 next week but 17 months 17 year old you know what i mean so uh and they, i can hear one singing next door and the other one singing that way you know what i mean and they're just yeah. they're, they're on the computers all day long and not like you know what i mean just messing around with the play games and all sorts of stuff like that and they should do their own thing, you know. But uh, it's all good stuff. Our, anyway. our oldest ones are, our oldest twins are eight, and um, they'll be turning nine this summer. And they they like the Fortnite, you know. That's that's oh, yeah. that's their thing. That's their thing. I, I, I don't know what they might to play in that, like you know, what I mean, to play all sorts of stuff, you know. But uh, yeah, it's all good stuff. Right, mate. I'm going to leave you there. All right. Yes, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, Darren Holmes here. You can find him on Spotify and everywhere else. Uh, artist support wise, you can find him on our support network. Make sure you answer all the questions. They're qualifying questions yeah, to make sure yeah, exactly. that, that, that you're going to be an engaged person. So, you won't get in. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> take, care of, take care of yourselves. All hey. right. we'll have to nice to meet you. Soon. Hey, <laughs> good talking to you. Right. Hey, thank you very much. Take care of yourselves, guys. All right. Stay, stay rare. Well, all right. Yes, <laughs> me too. Thank you. Right. See you later.